Welcome Scorpio. We are going to be doing an inquiry today as to what your soul would like you to know. Work your light oracle, the inquiry card specifically is what we'll be using here. Mystic healing and Osho Ozen Tarot. Alrighty then, let's get into it. Okay, so one card for Scorpio, please. There it is. There it is. Boundaries. Scorpio boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Yeah, see, like, it's kind of like everyone wanting a piece of you, right? Everyone wanting a piece of the pie. And it's sometimes just a matter of standing up and going, nope, no more. And this is on an energetic level as well. You know, not giving your energy away, not giving your power away. This, this Scorpio will help you get to get yourself into alignment because I feel like maybe some of you feel tugged at. Like there's things you want to do, but there's people around you who are like, do this, do that, because everyone, everyone is um, wanting that for their own gratification. It's not actually for you, regardless of what they say. It's for them and what works for them. When you set boundaries, you'll be surprised who no longer um, bothers with you or tries to work things out with you. Right. Maybe that's what some of you are afraid of, though. Three cards for boundaries for Scorpio, please. Three cards for boundaries. No, it didn't come out right. You know, I thank you. That one was weird. Um, I also feel like this is about you kind of like placing your crown upon your head and really owning that um, to kind of go, this is who I am. And none of you can have that. You can't, because it's sort of like people are wanting your crown. That's what it's like. Yeah, one more card, thank you, okay, so let me just pick the one up that went flying, the one that went flying was create boundaries, so I don't know how to make it any clearer than that here, Scorpio, like this is huge, like I really, really think that this needs to be paid attention to, okay, because for that to come out again when we've already got it, hey, anyway, let's get going. Access clear thinking here. Okay, so this is the first thing to do. Because I feel like for some of you at the moment, you're like, I don't even know um, what, what that will look like. What do I want to create boundaries about? You know, and how do I create them, right? So um, I guess with this, it's it, all, it may all feel like a bit of a maze right now. But... It could be the case of getting clear um, of at least what you aren't enjoying right now, what you maybe don't like that's going on right now. And start from that place rather than going, you know, it's kind of like rather than starting from the beginning, starting from the end, what do you want to achieve and work your way back from that Maybe it's a matter of doing that and unraveling that, you know. Okay, so let's have a look at this here and see. Intensity, yeah, everything feels very intense right now. Um, I want to say there's um, this <sighs> need not to get in your head too much about it, though. To really calm yourself, do things that help you calm, um, because that's going to allow you to access this clear thinking a lot easier. Because Scorpio, sometimes it's like your mind is a bit of a maze, and it's very hard to find your way out. And um, rather than trying to find your way out, maybe it's just a matter of stopping where you are in the maze, 
and um, and just go into this sort of stillness in a sense rather than getting really like wound up about it okay teaching yourself to do that and it takes time you don't have to be perfect at it straight off the bat okay you can take your time with that go within tap into what it is that you need to listen to within of what you need in that moment okay go into that stillness okay wow well, um we have we have this aloneness card here. I'm going to start with this one, actually. Um, there's some really beautiful energies here, Scorpio. And these are energies that you can tap into, okay? The Hermit card here is... The Hermit goes on this journey on his own to discover who he is. It's self-discovery. Yeah, and so by doing that, he understands what it takes for him to lead the way to light the way sorry um to be the leader in his own world you know to light the path in the darkness okay that doesn't mean that you don't rely on anybody or you don't call on people for help when you need it not at all you do that but what what happens is it allows this creator's light to shine for you to step in and into that energy and empower yourself to be the creator that you truly are. And this is a journey. I feel like actually this leg of the journey and doing this is something that, um, especially with the setting the boundaries, is going to be something that you create as... Um, is a very solid protection's not the right word. A um, kind of like a solid rule, I guess, or foundation for the rest of your life. This is going to propel you into the future. Okay, we also have this new truth here this new consciousness, this new awareness. And, and it could very well be, Scorpio, that, that this is a new way of thinking, uh, a new way of doing things, okay, a new way of being. Um, and I really feel like this is crucial for your journey, your soul's journey right now, okay? These boundaries are important yeah this is looking at how are you traveling because it seems that right now this is how some of you are traveling stressed to the max feeling like feeling like everything's going to give way or you're about to explode okay but do you know what i also get from this here is that for some of you you feel as though if you feel this way because there are no boundaries in place, okay? Everyone's loaded everything onto you or they're taking a piece of you, right? It feels like everything's just at you and it's becoming too much. And then because there's no boundaries here, you've got this monkey here ready to pop this bubble that you're using to try and balance everything. It's like, whoa, I feel like this is a bit of a monkey mind here. Yeah. Um, and so this is where this accessing the clear thinking is necessary. And you see this traveling card. There is, the, is this person here traveling their journey alone. And that's not to say to eliminate everybody out of your life, not at all. I feel like this is representative of the journey our soul takes. We take it alone, ultimately, in the biggest scheme of things. Everyone does, even though we're surrounded by other people and we are all connected. It is a soul journey that we take alone because it's the soul's um, requirement to learn what it needs to learn in order to evolve. Okay, so it's, I, I feel like it's a matter of you rising up into the consciousness of 
your soul in order to proceed with the next leg of the journey. And in order for that to happen, the boundaries need to be created. Okay. And that leads us to the second card of create boundaries. Creating boundaries with yourself. Creating boundaries with your mind. Interestingly enough, I'm seeing in this card here, even though it's a whole different deck, this sort of bubble here, which is exactly like this, but a different colour. So it just highlights to me the need to create these boundaries for you. Um, for some of you, there's sort of confusion, I guess, um, if you like, of... Who and what to trust. You're not sure. And part of that is because you're not really trusting yourself. And so I would suggest that that's the first thing you need to work on. To, in order to create these boundaries, it's a matter of really looking at where you want to go with your life, what direction you want to head in, what road you want to travel on and um, how you want to travel and with whom you want to travel. And this, this part of self-discovery is paramount to creating these boundaries. Because when you're not sure of you, and who you are, and where it is that you're heading, and what you want to do, how could we ever put in place any boundaries for anyone else when we don't even know ourselves, right? So this is something that is, is worth considering for yourself here. Okay, so let me just get a couple of cards here. Create boundaries. Thank you. Okay, so it's these first two cards here. Guidance. Guidance. It's, it's interesting because I kind of see like this um, sort of hoarding, I suppose, of thoughts maybe. Um, or people um, who have, have followed you maybe throughout your lifetime. But this, I feel like this could be more internal. Um, maybe getting some guidance to unpack this stuff, to look at it, uh, to really um, examine what is going on, to to drop what it is that you don't need, okay? Um, so that because because there are no boundaries, it's kind of like you um, or even your mind has become a bit of a junkyard for people just to dump their stuff, okay? Um, yeah. And it's time for that to change. Okay. Um, yeah, see, we have suppression here. It's weighing you down. You don't need it anymore. Okay. You're done. You're spent. There is no more room for anything else to be put on you. So it's time for you to take charge and take control. Okay. Create this new vision for yourself. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Create this new vision for yourself. Okay. See what it is. That you dream of, what you want, what you want to aim towards, okay? Act as if you have it, okay? Live that life. Get out of those boxes that you put yourself in. Release yourself from the restrictions of your mind. Because that is really the biggest thing that is holding you back. You have everything you need, Scorpio, to make this transformation happen. To rise up out of the ashes to rise up from this because this is not needed and this is not who you are. And I know for a fact it's not where you want to be. So maybe the boundaries are actually for yourself, right? Maybe it's stretching out of the boundaries that you've placed upon yourself. Listen to your intuition. Hear yourself. It's very hard to hear anything that's going on when you have this and this 
and this okay and it's not really about hearing like you know we say listen to your intuition but your intuition comes from the solar plexus it's felt right and in order to feel that we need to release all these other feelings of heaviness and um and confusion and um and the weight of the burden that we carry every day okay um yeah I feel like there's something new to be birthed. There's something that is about to be hatched, and um, and it's important for you to have these boundaries, particularly with your mind, in order for you to go forward with this. Okay, now tell me more about. Listen to your intuition, for Scorpio, please. I also feel like this is about clearing your energy field. Um, so that I'll just get these in order because I like to get them in the order they come out in. Um, yeah, clearing that energy field so that you can connect in and have that clear mind. Okay, so we've got one there and that one there. Okay, so we have here yeah, playfulness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this beautiful new beginning here. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, you've got this new truth. You've got this new beginning here, which is going to be life lasting. This is something that's going to set you up. It's going to um, be um, something that you're passionate about and it's going to grow into something huge and it's going to last you a lifetime. It's important to have fun with it. Okay, it's important to bring out that inner child and enjoy it. Enjoy the journey, right? Mm -hmm. Really become one with what it is that you're doing. Experience it to its fullest. And, and that's difficult to do when all this is bogging you down, right? You can't possibly do that. So this is where these boundaries need to be created, okay? Because you have a clean slate here. You have a blank canvas to create whatever it is that you want to create, okay? And um, to listen to your intuition, this is also um, saying to go into the stillness, to go into the silence, to clear everything that is going on for you and visualize, visualize the dream that you have, okay? And, and really feel it, not just visualize it, but Feel it within, it's as though you're in it, as though you're experiencing it to help that actually uh, manifest in your life, okay? To help access this clear thinking, okay? And then we have slowing down and we have clinging to the past. And these are two things that are going to be very beneficial to you, okay? Because whatever has happened in the past... Um, and maybe this is where this all comes from here. And maybe this is where these boundaries need to be created. Okay. It's important for you to work on letting that go. And I don't mean that in the sense of just let it go. Like it's nothing. It's something if it's still sticking with you. Okay. Um, and no matter how much you pretend it's not there and try to bling it up, it's still there. Okay. So make sure you are taking the time to address those things because whatever has happened in the past does not belong in your future and get serious with your self here Scorpio do you want it in your future do you truly want all that in your future all that garbage be honest with yourself and if you find yourself clinging to anything for whatever reason don't beat yourself up about it be gentle with yourself about it and just discover why What's, what purpose is it serving me? Is it is it that, you know, something's happened and people feel sorry for me so I get love? Is it love that I'm really requiring here? You know, be honest with yourself, okay? Have the courage to do so. And I know you do, you know, because you've been through enough. And, yeah, you've been through enough to know that you can do that and you've been through enough 
to know that you deserve what it is that is there for you. Okay. So let's have a little, little look see at the book here. Boundaries. 44. Okay. Here we go. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? You are being called to create clearer boundaries in your life. This could be with your friends, family or work. Saying yes when you really mean no leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. At first it might be only a little bit and not feel like a big deal, but before you know it, your energy field becomes porous and you are left feeling depleted, resentful or taken advantage of. Saying no and having clear boundaries is actually a spiritual act. The most giving, loving, compassionate people are those with the clearest boundaries. For when they say yes, they are able to give unconditionally. Unconditionally. When your boundaries are clear, others know where they stand and you are able to give freely. If you are not clear where your boundaries lie, this causes confusion, resentment, and energetic cords to be planted. If you are saying yes when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ask yourself, what part of me needs something from them? It could be a need for approval, a fear of being seen a certain way, or a fear of loss. The best way to gouge, sorry, the best way to gauge your boundaries is to check in with your belly. Your belly is not, oh sorry, your belly is the second brain. Yeah, see that intuition, right? Like we were talking about earlier. It has an intelligence known as your gut feelings. Tune into this space when deciding that it when deciding what is okay for you. How does it feel? What is it trying to communicate with you? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. So it's everything that came up in the reading and that sums it up beautifully. So yeah, Scorpio, it's important for you to look at. Okay, um... Incredibly important because, yeah, had this coming up twice, you can't ignore it. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.